Hey, my name is Ike Ahmed. Hello, my name is Burkhard Dick. My name is Kendall Donaldson. Oh, this is David Chang. Hi, my name is Arthur Cummings. Hi, I'm Susan Jacob. You know, being on the power list is probably one of the most anticipated events of the year for so much in our profession. Uh, I feel very humbled to be on that list and probably more so because of all the people on that list. There's some incredible people uh, who have done so many great things. I always feel a bit undeserving being on this list, uh, but it really gives us inspiration to keep on doing what we're doing. It also tells us again about how amazing our field is and what everyone brings diversity into our profession. And so it's just a, an unbelievable thrill to be even mentioned amongst the names of these great people. So it's a really great honor for me to be included in the power list. It's not the first one, but I highly appreciate the recommendations which is needed to get on the power list, but also the evaluations by the different judges. For me, it's not only the reputation that is kept, but also it's the great friendship in between our community and the exchange that follows, interestingly, after being relisted. Making it on the power list is really such an honor. You know, I am just thrilled to be included with so many people that I respect so much that have really impacted our field. Um, so it really is an honor and has opened many doors to me. It's also given me the opportunity to tell a little bit of my story and who has uh, really made an impact on me. And many of those people are also on the power list. And they're just people that I've respected so much through the years. And it's an honor to be included on such a prestigious list. You know, I think that uh, lists like the Power List that recognize achievement are really important, again, to inspire others. And I think the Power List has evolved into, for example, recognizing, you know, the young stars of our profession, recognizing those that are more research focused, academic focused. And I hope it continues to shine a light maybe on those that maybe are not so visible. And so maybe we need to continue to sort of find and unearth those maybe hidden gems that maybe aren't so vocal and loud, like myself, for example, uh, to give them voices. So I always feel that uh, media, like the ophthalmologist, gives voices to those that are successful, but are very important to give voices that maybe aren't as visible, that may have just as much to add, if not more, from their perspective. So the ophthalmology has been a great addendum you know, to what we do in our profession. It's a very valued source. When I get it in the mail, I look forward to reading it because it has provided a great diversity of opinions. And the power is something that we all kind of, in, in many, many fun ways, and also in many ways that uh, we're also in anticipation, always look forward to. Yeah, I, I myself like looking at the, the people on the power list. I love reading about what they think the future will hold, uh, what they're looking forward to. Uh, and there's always an interesting section where they, they share uh, parts of their life that, you know, people don't know about. Uh, and sometimes that's very humorous, it's very interesting, and uh, it's, uh, we get to see a side of our, our peers that we don't often see. And what it does without a doubt is it gives you a platform you might otherwise have had, or it would have been much harder to get. So something close to your heart, because of this, this recognition, you can get out there more readily, and you can have that discussed in a, you know, in a, in a transparent fo uh, format. So something very close to my heart is the World College of Refractive Surgery and training more refractive surgeons and bringing the benefits of refractive surgery to more people. And there aren't that many places where you can have this conversation. So, but being on the power list makes people just listen a little bit more carefully. You've got something to say. It gives uh, more impetus to your passion. It, it makes you your work more visible. Uh, and it also gives you a platform to kind of showcase what you're doing what you are passionate about and in my case it's uh, keratoconus and uh, my technique of treating keratoconus uh, spe specifically with CARES, C-A-I-R-S which is corneal allogenic intrastromal ring segments for reshaping the cornea and improving vision that's something I'm passionate about and this, this definitely gives me a platform to showcase that from. The second thing that it does is also being able to be on this list as a woman which I think also is uh, something that will encourage other women as well to uh, you know folk, uh, to be able to showcase their work better and the third thing is of course uh, being able to represent india on this uh, extremely prestigious list